little bubbles are vinegar. It can be any type of vinegar. Baking soda, you might have this at home. And food coloring, we have yellow, red, blue, and green. First, we're gonna add our baking soda. You just need enough to cover the whole bottom of your tray. Second, we need to add our food coloring. Third, we're going to add our vinegar. You can just pour as much as you'd like. Whoa. was because the vinegar is an acid and the baking soda is a base. And put together, they start having a party, like woo, woo, and they start mixing together and then they become carbon dioxide bubbles. Now, I wish there was another way to show you carbon dioxide. Maybe there is. So, what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you the carbon dioxide coming off of the base baking soda and the acid vinegar. Let's do this. What we need for this experiment is we need a water bottle, we need a funnel, we need some baking soda, some vinegar, and a balloon. And if you want, you can add some food coloring. First, you're gonna put your balloon on the funnel. Then, you're going to add some baking soda. Aha! Now we are going to set our balloon to the side and fill our water bottle with some vinegar. You're going to need the funnel again. Let's get something inside. Aha! I'm going to add a little food coloring to mine. tricky because since there's baking soda inside you have to make sure the baking soda does not fall into the vinegar so I recommend twisting it twisting the top like this and now you might need an adult's help for this because you're gonna stretch this open and try putting it on the lid very carefully take your balloon with the baking soda inside and flip it up and then the baking soda is going to go inside of the vinegar And just for safety measures, run. Phew. We good? And that is the carbon dioxide that I was talking about in the rainbow bubbles experiment. The acid in the base or the baking soda and the vinegar made this balloon pop up. Wow! Now I wonder if we can go bigger. Now, like I said, I wanted to go bigger, right? Well, bigger. This is a 2,000 milliliter flask. Wow. We're definitely going to need your parents' help for this one because we're using potassium iodide. It's very dangerous. So make sure you do not get it on your skin or in your eyes. So that's why you should wear gloves and goggles. And what else we're going to need is a flask, hydrogen peroxide, soap, and some food coloring. So we're going to start by adding our hydrogen peroxide.
Now we are going to add our soap, which I got from the dollar store. Shout out to the dollar store! Whoop whoop! Yeah! Uh -uh. Now we are going to add our food coloring. Hmm, I'll put about three drops. Ha. Do one more just in case. <laughs> now we are going to. Make sure it's all in there where we took it out before. There. Now for the fun but dangerous part. This is potassium iodide. I got this from Amazon actually, but remember it's still a chemical, so you have to be safe. Now this is kind of the same, except on a bigger scale, and it just keeps going on and on and on. Thank you for tuning in and remember, watch Emily's Wonder Lab on Netflix. 